Good morning, subscribers. It's a nice sunny day here in Johannesburg, and it's been a while since I've um, done a video. I apologize for that, but I thought that let me give it a go now and uh, demonstrate to you my inverter setup. Now, there's a lot of confusion that I've found in the market where people don't understand the difference between the various inverters that are available. So there's hybrid inverters, there's grid tied, there's off-grid inverters. And people that want to go and invest in solar initially, and when I ask them the question, why do you want to invest in solar? Is it for backup purposes or is it to save or to supplement your your electricity generation and they often are unable to answer that question so there's very many differences and and there's different um, um, expenditure you know when it comes to you know, getting a backup power supply set up and often I just advise people if you just want something for backup and uh, you, you're not interested in saving electricity then just go ahead and install a generator but coming back to this the purpose of this video so we want to try and differentiate what the vid what the different types of inverters are available right so I've got a good Wii set up here and it's a hybrid grid tied in inverter so what does hybrid mean hybrid means that you've got to have a battery backup so I've got two pylon techs there and um, they give me about 4.8 kilowatt hours but I think the only usable power from there is about um, I think it's about 3.8 kilowatt hours but nonetheless we uh, we use it to supplement our our electricity generation at night so we deplete the batteries up until about 29 percent state of charge so right now it's 9 a.m on a beautiful sunny Johannesburg morning and we're generating about 3.4 kilowatts from our our panels at the moment all our panels are north facing so this Goodwin inverter is grid tied meaning that it is capable of exporting power so excess power it is ex capable of exporting it to to the ESCOM grid um, but however we're not getting any money for it but it's just to test out the maximum um, a generation that we can um, produce in a day so this setup uh, we got about 15 panels and we're generating about 33 to 34 kilowatt hours per day depending on the sunlight of course and as you can see here there are two there's a pair of uh, cables coming in here so this is MPPT so yeah, it's, yeah, MPPT1 and MPPT2. So we've got two different strings of uh, panels that are coming into here. Uh, they're different brands as well. Uh, one is a J Solar that's coupled with a Art Solar and the rest are Longi Solar. But that doesn't really matter as long as your your specs are, are similar. Um, that, that is fine. But what we notice is that um, these MPPTs, they do have a... Uh, a maximum uh, capacity that can be generated so anything uh, over and above that will just be lost or if it's too high then you need to change your settings on your inverter because it's gonna say you're gonna get errors like DC injection high but uh, yeah you need to engage with your uh, with the with your inverter engineering team for that and here we've got uh, breakers for the the uh, solar strings and we've got surge arrestors as well and that's about it so if your intention is to save power right now this setup is uh, generating 80 percent of our solar needs of our power needs rather so if you want to save power then this is the way to go get a hybrid grid tied inverter because you want to be able to export to the grid once uh, ESCOM permits us to do so and they reimburse us for that so if you want to go if you're living on a farm and you not you don't have any grid supply then you want to go with the off-grid inverter and 
with the off-grid inverter it just means that you're gonna need a bigger battery bank because you need uh, a larger battery bank to carry you through the night for your lighting and your computers and your router and whatever whatnot but uh, here we've just gone with uh, two batteries because we uh, ba the battery bank significantly increases the cost of your setup so yes what we have we talked uh, spoken about we've spoken about hybrid inverters with hybrid inverters you need a battery bank with the grid tied inverter it means it's tied to the grid and uh, oh yes one more thing the hybrid inverter it's also capable of supplying your entire house supplementing your entire house um with the the, the electricity that's generated from solar so if my i'm running um, a single phase system here and this is a single phase inverter so that means that all my appliances are connected on that one phase with my geezer and every and all of that now although i do have uh, solar assisted heating for the geezer the inverter can still supplement the elements consumption um through the solar generation from the pv because the grid tied inverter it it whilst it's exporting and say say the geezer is uh, consuming uh, four kilowatts and the uh, pv is uh, producing say five kilowatts then four kilowatts will go towards the element of the geezer and the rest will go to the house or be exported so this grid tied hybrid system maximizes your your electricity consumption as well from solar so this is the best option to go for if you wanna save on uh, electricity thank you for watching please hit subscribe and um, feel free to comment on the video and post any questions that you may have thank you for watching